Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The Sami and peace out to the rest of you. Um, DJ Kid and his ability to do what he did now calls for us to stop being um, adult like and go ahead and be the stereotype of the real nigga. The real nigga will not accept blame and responsibility even when he has control, right? Even when he has power, right? Is that not the um, stereotype and the trademark and the hallmark of the real nigga? That being said, this is a time for us. There is no better time for us than now to go ahead and do what real niggas are known for doing. DJ Kid calls on us to say no. We don't accept responsibility for this. This is not on us as black men. We had no say over this. Why? Because we had no say. We had no control. We had no power. This is time for us to say to sisters, we do not owe protection if we are not owed affection. Whether that affection is romantic in the case of the Muslims, marital, or whether that affection is genetic, meaning family or relationship kinship we do not owe protection just nilly willy at the drop of a hat at somebody else's idea we owe protection when we are listened to and we are honored when we are submitted to we owe protection if we have signed an agreement to owe protection and it, why sign an agreement of such if you if it is not in exchange for something else that's when you owe protection Without these things, we don't know it. I do not know a single one of these women in Florence County, no matter what their ages are. I do not know uh, DJ Kidd. I did not know that he existed. I was completely unaware. What I do know is that he got through all kinds of barriers the sisters put up, and even these, uh, even these so-called ratchets with whom he took the photographs got some sort of standards they ain't really about much but the point is that they've got something some sort of standards they've got some kind of criteria they got something they look for they have a preference and they're dead serious about that preference unless until as we have seen now it's a cross-eyed white boy that's real the standards have been lowered even though these women as you could tell were they were young ratchets uh they, they were the stereotypes they these were the idness ets and you could tell it by looking at the photographs. They still have their preferences, too. And they drop these preferences when it comes to somebody else. And you know who I'm talking about. It ain't when the Mexican walks into the room. It ain't when another Latin American walks in the room. They don't drop the preferences or lower the standards when an African brother walks in the room or a brother from the Caribbean. As a matter of fact, they go up at that point. He's got to have more money than a white guy's got to have. But a white dude ain't got to be rich. He ain't even got to have a skill. Even the lesser skill of DJing, he just he could just be a promoter. Let a brother say, I'm a promoter, and sister's going to say, yeah, but what do you have? What has it gotten you? My guy comes along, cross-eyed. Obviously, it didn't get him enough to fix them eyes of his. We don't have control, and it is time, brothers, to go ahead and say, nope, I'm a real nigga. I don't take responsibility for this because I actually didn't even have control over that. I ain't had nothing to do with it. I didn't fail to protect anybody. I wasn't notified. I wasn't paid properly nor or notified of it. This had nothing to do with me. And oh, by the way, excuse the music in the background, y'all. That's not me. This is time for us to, you know, be real niggas and do that real nigga thing and refuse responsibility and say this is why we don't owe anybody any apologies. It's time for us to do that real nigga thing and say, uh uh, nope. Because in the West, we men do not control women's sexuality. And since we don't control their sexuality, we owe no protection. That's it. This is the time to finally go ahead and be that idness and stop being responsible. Why? Because this is this is finally when that's the right thing to do. I didn't expect something like this to come up, but you know what? Yeah, now that's the right thing to do. Be a nigga and 
disavow all responsibility because we really are not responsible this time. That's it. I hope this has been a benefit. Assalamu alaikum. And just because some of you don't like to hear me say this, black power.